Google reCAPTCHA helps keep your forms safe by preventing spam from being entered into them. reCAPTCHA adds an extra layer of security for your forms which prevents them from being filled out by robots and spammers. It also increases the likelihood that the data is entered manually and therefore more likely to be verified. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Walia from Team Learn today and in this SOP we will learn how to generate Google reCAPTCHA keys for WP forms on your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Once you're on your WordPress dashboard, find WP forms on your left sidebar from here. And we can go to settings from right here. As you can see, you have general settings, email settings. What we want to do in this SOP is we want to go to CAPTCHA from here. Once you land on your CAPTCHA settings, as you can see over here, you'll have three options that you can choose from as the CAPTCHA that you would like. You have H CAPTCHA, you have reCAPTCHA, which I think is the most common one. Then you have none of these two. Um, it's set on none right now. We want to set it as reCAPTCHA from right here. And then as you can see, they also explain to you what kind of settings you're getting, what kind of type of uh, reCAPTCHA uh, they provide you to select. So we'll get to that in a minute. But once you select reCAPTCHA, just open up Google reCAPTCHA admin and you can register a new site from right here. Uh, the link for this particular page, I will be putting in the description down below so you can check it out. It'll get easier for you, I think. Um, so the label of uh, the reCAPTCHA can be your website's name. I'm just going to keep it as justwinvalia.com. Then the reCAPTCHA type. Now, if you click on this I button, they basically tell you what a reCAPTCHA type is. Choose the type of reCAPTCHA for this site key. A site key only works with a single reCAPTCHA site type. So you can only select one reCAPTCHA. Your V3 basically requests a score. You can set up a minimum score that the person who's filling out can pass. It's a little more advanced, so you really don't need the V3. You can go ahead with the V2, which is the most common kind of uh, CAPTCHA that you see out there. You have, I'm not a robot tick box, which you would like to tick. Go ahead and put in our domain, which is justwinvalia.com. In that case, in your case, it would be yourwebsite.com, you know, your domain name.com. Then, uh, of course, you have your email address. If this is not your email address, you can go ahead and you can add an email address over here. I'm just quickly going to add the email address that I really want. Then accept the recapture terms and services. Send alerts to the owners. These are your owners, the two, two addresses or the multiple addresses that you're filling. Uh, and then you can go ahead and just submit this. Awesome. So now, as you can see, justwinvalia.com has been registered. You have a site key and a secret key that you need to copy and paste. So let me just go back to my WordPress dashboard, first of all, and fill out the details on WP Forms as well, when where we are creating our recapture again. So you have the type, as you remember, the type that we chose was V2. And even in V2, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't choose the invisible CAPTCHA V2. We chose the checkbox, which is basically your, um, I'm not, I'm, 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 a, I'm a human, I'm not a robot V2, right? Then you have your site key. So you can go ahead and you can copy the site key from right here. Go back to your WordPress dashboard and paste it over here. Then again, your secret key you need to copy. From here, go back and put your secret key right here. Then your fail message, again, you don't need to change it. No conflict mode. This basically is check this option to forcefully remove other capture occurrences in order to prevent conflicts. Only enable this option if your site is having compatibility issues or instructed by support. So that now this completely is up to you. So I can just save settings, first of all. Okay, as you can see, a preview of your CAPTCHA is displayed below. Please view to verify the CAPTCHA settings are correct. Go down and this is how it would look like, which is again, the most common one you would see out there. What I will do over here is I can either go to analytics 
or I can go back to the settings that I have. As you can see, you can add multiple domains as well. Then you have the analytics right here, total verifications, suspicious requests, and you can choose the dates. You can choose who, uh, you can see who passed and who failed. Awesome. So as you can see, we have successfully um, added a reCAPTCHA and integrated it with our WordPress website. In our next SOP, we will learn how we can add this reCAPTCHA in one of our forms as well. So keep watching. Hope you guys were able to successfully create a reCAPTCHA and integrate it with your WordPress website as well. I will be making a lot of videos on such digital marketing tools. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, any queries, or any suggestions that of any other videos that you would like to see on the Learn Today channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Go ahead and hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is just Swinvalia, and I will see you in our next SOPs.